This is a Simi dive inspection conducted on January 14th, 2015 in uh, Pompano Beach, Florida. We're going to inspect this uh, retaining wall, seawall, and some uh, issues and concerns that are uh, showing up in the way water is uh, seeping in the seawall and the retaining wall. Um, from the previous inspection, there is uh, definitely crack, evident cracks in the retaining wall, which uh, probably is built out of cement blocks, you can see here. here. And the wall is also pitching inward at about three to four degrees right now. And we cannot see this area here because of the dock. The dock appears to be pretty new and in good condition, but it is, uh, Restricting our view, as you can see here, there's a separation from where the was already tried to be. Uh, somebody tried to deal with it with some uh, caulking material, which is definitely not the adequate uh, material for this. Um, batter piles were added later in the life of the seawall, and the marriage between the batter piles and the actual cap was not done in a cohesive uh, way. This is what happened. I just moved the rock. And you can see there's the rebar that binds them. So they are bound by rebar, but the process was not done. Uh, they basically didn't break part of the cap and cord it together, which they should have done uh, in order to create a uh, and uh, a stronger binding. And there's three of them, the ones that we can see, and all three of them have issues. This is actual. Right there is the rebar of the cap, and this is the rebar that marries the batter pile to the cap itself. Right here you can see that a piece of that right there uh, is probably just going to fall off if I can. But you can see it's not really binding, it's just, it's just a way to push against the wall, but it should have been done in a... A little more time should have been given to... Uh, this and, uh, and you can see also there's a long crack across the cap here. So all this basically has to be opened up and a partial form made. This has to be broken a little bit and then poured some concrete and it's probably going to be a cap is going to be a little higher. With regards to the retaining wall, definitely recommended uh, to put some jet filter weeping hole filters on this entire length of this. Uh, preferably towards the bottom and probably around the seawall as well. And then maybe put a few pilings, make a few concrete pilings, pour them here right in the place where the cracks are. And uh, they don't have to be big, they could be six by six or eight by eight and then bind the cap to the retaining wall and that would cause. And then of course all this has to be opened up and re-cemented and hopefully the new binding and the filters is going to allow water to seep and it's going to prevent what's happening right here which the pavers are basically sinking and you can see it right here next to the pool. This is all because water needs to go somewhere and the actual lining of the pool is exposed here all the way. So there's a lot of soil lost around here and there's sprinklers here which even increases the amount of water that builds up. And if the water has nowhere to go, it undermines underneath the sea and it creates cracks and load on the, on the retaining wall. So I'm going to go in the water now and we're going to inspect the water part of this, uh, <coughs> of the sea wall and see what we see. Um, we're going to be starting on the east part, working our way uh, westward. Let's see. The, the, the seawall, when data files were put in, uh, was already uh, dealing into the canal uh, quite a few degrees, say three to four degrees. Um, looking at the bottom, uh, probably there is some kind of seepage on the foot of, of the seawall because of all this water pressure. Uh, right now it's mid-tide and there's probably a good five to six feet from the top of the retaining wall to the water. So all that water pressure is 
causing this separation between the retaining wall and the cap and the problem with the pavers and uh, the loss of soil. So, There's 11 batter piles and 11 piling. Um, probably be a good idea to also re cement the radiuses as they look like they're completely gone. They are sealed all the way to the bottom, and the bottom of the footer appears to be and uh, okay I don't see any seepage right here you can see on the bottom corner uh, probably be recommended to um, line the bottom of the seawall with uh, riprap bags and create a bottom footer because of the amount of pressure and then let me just give you a bottom view radius so you can see the is very it's going to be almost impossible without removing some of the decking to inspect how this uh, binding process between the batter pile and the actual cap is uh, right here you can see on the H pile there are some cracks and there are definitely cracks in the panels which is also due to um, loads and the panel maybe moving right here you can see there's a very long horizontal crack starting from here and going down almost the entire panel so it'd be a good uh, good thing to uh, jet wash the entire area and find if there's any other cracks and they need to be opened and concreted uh, with good quality hydraulic concrete um, Right here, you can see it would be again. So definitely cracks on the on the H pile, on the T pile, or the H pile, whatever it is. And uh, there's no way to inspect. Touch it with my hand. That's about it. But the right thing to do would be to open the decking and just have a look see if there's any other problem like uh, the areas that are exposed and there's no decking. Looking at the bottom and the panels are relatively straight. Uh, radiuses are old but uh, they're still holding. the last piling uh, on the west side and we are going to come right to the end of the property line. This is the neighbors already right here. And just 
to make a note that there's absolutely no deep holes in this entire seawall, which is probably the cause of that top soil erosion and the cracking that you see on the on the retaining wall. As the water has no outlet and uh, it just loads up and then it creates too much pressure and things start to crack and break. So I would say 11 4 inch filters, jet filters would be the way to go on the actual panels and that's to reduce panel load and then add another 12 or 15 two and a half inch filters would cause, would allow the um, retaining wall to discharge and uh, prevent the, the loading and the erosion that is currently happening. Um, Structural condition of the seawall is good. It's except I don't know what this conduit here is doing. Some old wiring going to the ground. It might have been underwater lighting here. As you can see, the diagonal crack in the panel right there. And uh, Definitely work to be done here, and uh, there's a need to stabilize the retaining wall and repair whichever of the batter pile uh, connecting points to the cap that needs to be repaired. That uh, is going to complete our inspection. Again, the inspection was done in Pompano Beach, Florida, by Simi Dive. Thank you.